Today, I bring you the best 424 FM23 tactic that shattered records. First stop, PSG, where this formation averaged over 4.3 goals per game, helping us secure the French League title, the Trophy de Champion, and the Coupe de France. Next, we're off to Germany, where we guided Dortmund to a Bundesliga championship, netting an impressive 118 league goals along the way. we we'll go anywhere, because Manchester City is our next destination. We steered this English giant to a sensational Premier League season, earning a staggering 100 points and scoring a jaw-dropping 152 league goals. But that's not all. We also claimed victory in the Community Shield, the Super Cup, and the Champions League. Here's the real kicker. We made sure this tactic can work with any team, and to prove it, we we tested it with Plymouth Argyle, who were predicted to finish in 24th place. The result? Automatic promotion with an incredible 134 league goals scored. This is the best 4-2-4. So then, let's break down this fantastic tactic. I'm going to quickly say this is the perfect time to leave a like on the video. And also, if you are enjoying the content, please do consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell. I also want to thank all of the wonderful Patreons coming down the screen. Patreon is a great way to show some love to the channel and also gain access to around about seven perks, including early video release, early tactic release, access to all three of these downloads in one simple file. You also get priority in your tactic and rebuild requests. And also you get enrolled to some pretty cool giveaways. We've just given away a copy of FM24. I am going to be giving away a new copy of FIFA around about the start of November. So definitely check it out. The link is also going to be in the description. But let's go through the best 424. Starting off in goal. So it is going to be a sweeper keeper simply on the default instructions. I very rarely add instructions to the goalkeepers because to be honest, it's not really needed. The fullback on on the right hand side is going to be on support on more direct passes run wide with the ball get further forwards and also stay wider the thing about this system is it's definitely not a tiki taka style you're not going to maintain incredible levels of possession it's actually quite a direct way of playing and that is why we scored so many goals a ball playing defender comes in on the right simply on defend on the default instructions and i did originally test with a central defender but we're going to switch it out and have two ball playing defenders. At the end of the day, this best series is where I literally try and make the best final tactic of FM23. Therefore, there are going to be a lot of things that are in the meta. And ball playing defender is definitely the best role in my opinion. The fullback on the left hand side is going to be exactly the same on the right. But just to clarify, a very direct pass and fullback running wide, getting further forwards and obviously staying wider to give us that width. In the midfield, we're going to have a deep line playmaker come in simply on defend on tackle harder. The midfield isn't the most offensively minded, but we didn't concede that many goals to be honest. I will show you obviously you want to see it in the intro, actually, you would have seen with Plymouth Argyle. That was the most goals we scored, or conceded, sorry, but we, we outscored massively, so it didn't really matter. So this is quite a sort of free roaming midfield that are sort of designed to create chances for this front four. This role here, we are going to change, actually, to the box to box and have a supportive role in, and he is going to be on shoot less often, move into channels and tackle harder. So essentially, this box to box, I want him getting further forwards. I want him getting involved. But I don't want them having shots. I want him simply to just be the legs of the team you know run up and down the field as a box to box should do therefore it is literally the ideal role on the left hand side we're gonna have an inside forward on attack very important this role obviously because this means that the fullback is going to be able to overlap him and the inside forward is going to be cutting in that is always a meta way to play fm23 therefore you can probably imagine this role on the right hand side is going to be changed as well to an inside forward on attack therefore this fullback can also overlap and do exactly the same on each side of the field and playing like this works really really well and a little tip a little heads up if you ever want to switch it up mid game you can change these wide players to wingers have them out wide and have the fullback sitting narrower and making narrow runs so you can switch it up very easily which is also a very good bit of information and to finish it off we're gonna have the advanced forward on attack on shoot more often and next to him exactly the same so we've got two strikers that are both going to be no cap on the amount of fire and they can do at goal and it is absolutely lethal especially if you've got great players to do it and i've shown obviously with the likes of plymouth argyle you still can get fantastic results with this tactic i'm going to make sure i start including at least one sort of you know average to to bad team in a video now so you can see that side as well but that is going to give you some fantastic player instructions let's go over to the team so it is going to be built around the pressing style as you probably can imagine and it is also going to be on the positive mentality now in terms of the in possession tab as i mentioned it is quite a direct approach we're going to be looking to pass into space 
space. We're going to play out from the back and also focus the play through the middle to really get them two in midfield involved. And it works so, so well. In terms of the passing directness, it's actually quite refreshing to see this being played because usually a lot of the meta tactics are obviously shorter passing or much shorter. So having on this a little bit more of a direct approach is quite nice to see. A complete different way of playing football manager. That is for sure. And the other two additional instructions are going to be run at defense and also be more expressive alongside, obviously, the mixed crosses. So it is a very direct way of playing football. You are going to be running at teams, really getting in their face. And yeah, the results you get are crazy doing this. Don't get me wrong. I want to clarify, you're not going to have the best pass completion in the world. You're not going to have the best possession in the world, but you are going to be a very good defensive and attacking team. In transition, there are going to be quite a few instructions, so we're going to get going right away. It's going to be counter pressing, very meta based in FM, as you can imagine. We're going to hit on the counter. We're going to distribute to anybody across that back four while taking short goal kicks. So in terms of the outer possession, I did try the higher defensive line, but to be honest with you, it's okay for the attacking variant, but for the default variant, it's a little bit too out there, a little bit too vulnerable at the back for my liking. So we are going to rock the standard line with the high pressure line of engagement we're going to completely max out the trigger press and also obviously have some pressure on the goalkeeper distribution so a very meta looking out of possession tab of course you guys can't have just the default you've got to have the attacking and the defensive variants and we are now going to break them down for you right now i do want to quickly say though i have got a second channel right now it is going to be customly made for mobile and console tactics most of the content is going to be coming out in fm24 but if you have got a second please do subscribe to it it's either going to be on my featured channel page on my youtube or there is going to be a link in the description so if you play on any of those definitely going to be somewhere you want to be but let's go ahead and break down the best 424 attacking variant which is going to look a little bit like this so it is going to look very similar and to be honest with you there are very very few changes because the 424 is naturally quite an attacking variant more of the changes come in the defensive side but the sweeper keeper remains exactly the same the fullback actually goes on to attack now on the right hand side on more direct run wide and also stay wider the ball playing defenders remain exactly the same so nice and simple and the fullback on the left is exactly the same as the one on the right therefore more direct run wide and also stay wider in terms of the two in midfield we're gonna have the box to box comes in on tackle harder on the left and also the same on the right and you might be wondering what are you doing why have you got two box to boxes and it's because I, I obviously I did have a deep line playmaker, but I really like the box to box in this game. Obviously, two players that are both going to get further forwards and also they are going to come back naturally. That is what they do in the player role. And having two players that do that is very, very good. Now, this is why I said it's a lot more attack and minded because they are going to get forward when you attack and they're both going to track back when you're defending. So this is definitely a tactic that you're going to use if you are a goal down or you're playing a very sort of weak team which you simply want to put goals past because it is a very attacking tactic and these two in midfield are not going to be afraid to go further forwards and get involved in linking up the play with these front four. Now, on the left-hand side, we're going to have the inside forward simply on attack and on the right-hand side, we're going to have exactly the same. I never really found it necessary to have any additional instructions on these players in this system. They worked really, really well and the two up top are simply going to remain on the shoot more often instruction. So this is going to give you a very more attacking minded 4-2-4. Possession, by the way, the mentality has now gone to attacking. Just to clarify, there are going to be a couple of changes coming in, and that is simply a couple of position changes in terms of what we're going to be doing. So that is going to be overlapping left and overlapping right are going to be your bread and butter. So the fullbacks are now really going to be getting involved, getting stuck in and creating chances for the front four, or I guess front six now, if you include, include the fullback, sorry. In transition, the only change that's going to come in is going to be distributing quickly. Obviously, a much needed thing to be doing in an attack and variant of any tactic. And in terms of the out of possession, one or two changes, the high defensive line is going to come in. As I said, you are going to be a lot more vulnerable at the back. If you are desperate for a goal, you need to sacrifice a little bit of that defensive side to go out and score a goal. And alongside of that, we are also going to be getting stuck in to try and win the ball back quicker so we can attack. Now over to the defensive variant, there are going to be a few changes on this occasion, as you can probably tell already. The goalkeeper remains exactly the same. The fullback simply goes on support now on stay wider. Both of these fullbacks now, as you can see also on the left-hand side, are going to be very restricted to what they can do. They're not going to be attacking. They're going to be defensive. They're simply going to be part of a back four, and that's it. None of this overlapping, none of this at all, because we want them simply to help not concede a goal. Simple as that. Both ball-playing defenders are also going to be on the default instructions. 
the midfield takes a little bit of a more defensive sort of approach as well as we introduce a defensive ball winning midfield player simply on Mark Titer and a central midfield player who is I've done this in a few tactics now I, I like to have one central midfield player that is a very low risk midfield player so he's going to be on support on pass at shorter take fewer risks shoot less often hold position and tackle harder and what this is going to give you is a midfield player that is simply going to get the ball and make a guaranteed pass nice and simple he's not going to take any risks and it's going to help maintain possession and not lose the ball so having him in the team is a real good addition in my opinion the inside forwards both are going to be on the default with the addition of pass shorter on both of them. Essentially, exactly the same as the previous ones, but obviously not as attacker minded. And again, instructed to pass at shorter to help maintain the ball a little bit better. We then have a complete forward on support on the default. Just a little bit of a deeper striker on this occasion. And the one advanced forward who is going to remain on shoot more often. Possession, there are going to be a fair few changes. By the way, we have now dropped the mentality all the way down to balanced. We've also taken off passing to space we've taken off run at defense and be more expressive and obviously the overlaps aren't going to be in either we're still going to play out from the back we're still going to focus to play through the middle the passing directness is going to go down to shorter because now we are trying to have a bit more of a possession based style to try and run the clock down to be honest with you we're going to maintain that slightly higher tempo and also we're going to introduce a little bit of time wasting in terms of the in transition i was very keen to keep the same dna of the team i want to have that counter press i want to still counter but the one change is going to be slowing the pace down when we have the ball. And now in terms of the out of possession tab, the last instruction for these three um, variants of the tactic is going to be the standard line, the high press and of engagement more often and prevent short goalkeeper distribution. And that is going to give you guys three variants of the best 424, the best 424 that I have personally made in the entire FM23 game cycle. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do leave a like, drop a little subscription, and hit the notification bell. We're also going to be live streaming again very shortly. So do follow the Twitch as well. I'm going to be multi-streaming on here and on Twitch. So you, you can see me pretty much everywhere to be honest, guys. But enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.